Weather from where you live. Well, you can see the pattern tonight. It's very warm in the west. You can see the clouds moving up and over the upper ridge. They dive southward here. This is a trough, so it's cool and unsettled here. But also notice these clouds in the northeast. They're kind of moving north and then backing to the northwest. Thing is, there's a blocking ridge over Greenland. We call it a Greenland block. So as long as that sits there, a little trough can't move eastward very much. So even though I think the trough may erode a little bit on Friday, for the most part, it's going to be a cool pattern. Pretty much as we get into next week, unfortunately, as we get into March here, we've had little bursts of spring, but uh, it's been largely winter since late February around here. Now, this is an Alberta clipper that's moving southward pretty quickly. Here's the viewing area, and it's moving so fast, I think we could have precip in here by midday tomorrow because it keeps picking up at least some speed. And then behind that, there's another clipper here that'll bring a few showers Friday night into Saturday. Tomorrow's looks like mainly snow, but Friday night, Saturday, it looks like mainly rain around here. Tonight, though, cold, uh, some increasing high clouds from the northwest, 21 Lafayette, Monticello, 20 Rensselaer, and 21 at Burlington. Tomorrow, clouds thickening up. I've had to lower that temp a little bit more. That thing is speeding up, so 39 for the high, 40 Crawfordsville, 36 Rochester, and 37 at Monticello, but we get the clipper out of here. And boy, we are we are so close to spring on Friday. It's going to be 80 in Kansas City and probably 72 in St. Louis. And we're going to be around 57 here, uh, 60 Covington, but 48 at Rochester. Be nice to get some of that warmth in here. Now tonight, just a few clouds. There's 3 a.m. with our high-res feature cast. You can see the clouds increasing already at 6:30 in the morning. This is 9 o'clock, and there's already a little snow showing up in east central Illinois. This is 11:45 in the morning, and already perhaps some rain, sleet, and snow showers already coming in, and it may quickly go over to all snow. This is 155. I notice snow showers in the area with a southwest wind kicking up, and still snow showers around at 3:30, and this is 6, uh, 5:30 p.m. Then we get them out of here. A few clouds tomorrow night, and then the winds turn to the south and southwest. And though we may have at least some high and mid-level cloudiness a Saturday, it, uh, excuse me, Friday, it will be a nice mild day with those highs in the 50s near 60 in the viewing area. But for the weekend, it does start to cool off just a little bit. So tomorrow, again, a few rain showers at first, changing to all snow. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if the grass is whitened in places, generally a half inch or less of accumulation. 57 though Friday, a few showers Friday night, Saturday, Saturday 48. 43 Sunday, and then more widespread rainfall later Monday into Monday night, ending very early Tuesday. Now, the high is 50 Tuesday. That will be in the morning, and then the temp will fall into the upper 30s later on in the day, and then only 41 Wednesday. This is a cool weather pattern. Uh, you know, tomorrow, if you go back a year, it was 82. And if wow, you go back a year for degrees, yeah, wow. so we broke a record tomorrow on this day. And actually, the high today last year was 76. So if you go back a I year, could do some really of that. I, yeah. That would be pretty nice. That yeah. would be pretty, pretty nice. Sure. Well, I tell you what, Pacey's looking to get back on track, and uh, they had an opponent to do it with. Yeah, they sure did. They're at home again.